What goes into a streak to get you to the level you've been at over these last 12 games? What goes into that, Kevin? My God, that's all I can say. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, thank you. You're not nothing to do with it. No, uh, nothing. It's all him. Thank you. Mike. That's Jesus. Jesus has always been there. He'll, he'll never, never leave you, never forsake you. You know, it's simple. You know, Jesus saved us, and Jesus is the only answer. In his name that we go out there and perform and, and compete and, and use the gifts he's given us in the right way. Steph Curry. Every time I make a shot, I make a good pass, and I pound my chest and point to the sky, and that symbolizes that I have a heart for God, um, something that my mom and I came up with in college, and, and I do it every time I step on the floor as a reminder of, of who I'm playing for. And people should know who I represent and, and, and why I am who I am. And that's because of my Lord and Savior, so I can't say that. I gave myself to the Lord, wanted to be a, a Christian. 2004 when I got married, you know, I kind of went away from it, went, went to the University of Georgia. Uh, 2004 when I got married, two months later, me and my wife, um, who grew up in the church, got baptized together. and then. Um, and then I kind of went away from it again, but then it grew more into it when my, my caddy yelled at me a little bit. And um, so I've been stronger. I've been getting stronger in my faith and reading the Bible more and more. And, um, and then second, I got to thank uh, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Getting ready to run out of the tunnel, I really felt like God was putting in my heart to change the verse. I was like, really, right now? And, but I realized that if we won, we'd be playing a national championship on one of the biggest stages that I might ever get. And so that would be the right opportunity to change the verse. God kept bringing it to my heart and my head, John 3.16, because it's the essence of our Christianity. It's the essence of our hope. For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him will not perish but have everlasting life. It's what gives us hope as Christians. So I decided to go with that. So what do you have to say? He said, did you know that during that game, 94 million people Googled John 3.16? And honestly, my first thought was, how the heck do 94 million people not know John 3.16? <laughs> <laughs> I thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. In the power of Jesus, I won this in Germany tonight. You know, I came here to Germany in the lion's den to a great, great champion in Vladimir Klitschko. But my Lord, my Savior, my rock, my salvation, give me the glory tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you. Got anything you can tell us about about? Yes, I have. I've got lots to tell you. Go on, just give us. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved. Is that your reaction to what people who want you off the spotty shortlist? Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and you'll be saved. And what about you being stripped of your belt? Yeah, I mean, that, that that's uh, you must be very unhappy with that. What's your reaction to that? Jesus loves me, and he loves you too, and he loves you too. He loves these people in here, and he loves everybody in the world. You can win, and still be a Christian. I'm sorry, what, what was that? In fact, you can win a lot and still be a Christian in a positive light. You can win all the time and still shine for Jesus. So I'd just like to thank the Lord Jesus because without him I wouldn't have this talent to play tennis. J'aimerais également remercier Luigi, me semble-t-il avoir compris, car sans lui je ne serais pas un joueur de tennis. Are you aware of the growing interest in your backpack? Can you give fans at all a hint as to what's inside of it? My pad, I got my Bible, I got my headphones, and my phone. God has a purpose. He brings me back into his kingdom to, to use me to glorify his name, to let them, the people know that there is God who can raise the people from nothing into something. Care to take a guess as to what they will actually weigh when they get into the ring tomorrow night? I would guess that Mayweather will have a seven to eight pound. But if he wants to promote me or humble me, uh, that, has, that is in his hands. You know, I don't think God cares about a certain game or race or performance, but he does care, care about the condition of our heart. I went back to the dressing room, and as I was walking back and forth to cool off, I started thinking, who cares about a stinking boxing match when I got money, I got cars. I said, I could, re I could retire now and die. Die! Couldn't fight it. It just started to dominate my conversation. I realized I was about to die in a dirty old dressing room with all those homes I had. Right within my thoughts, I heard, the, I heard a voice say, you believe in God, why are you scared to die? And give money to charity and for cancer. And the voice answered me right back, I don't want your money, I want you. 
And I remember the tears coming down because I knew that was it. My leg gave out of me. And I said, and I said, you just witnessed a miracle and you won't believe it. When they rushed me to intensive care, I lost a boxing match, but I was where I wanted to be in life. And I've been telling that story since. When I was young, I dreamed, became just a professional player for Sao Paulo and play one game for the national team. Just it. But the Bible says God has got more than we can think or than we can want. And this is what happened in my life. Thank you. He takes the snap. Here's the blitz. Rolls to the right. Fires to the right. It is intercepted in the end zone. Because God says he's placed eternity in our hearts. So all of us know, whether we're professed to be atheists or whether we're Christian, all of us know inside that there is a God. There is something. We're, ha we're here for a reason. And the only way your vertical relationship can be made right is through the blood of his son. By turning and repenting of your sins, by putting your faith and trust in Jesus Christ and what he did on the cross. All sin that's in us makes us do those things. And the only, the only salvation for this sin is the gospel. The only way to really cure that what's on the inside is understanding that Jesus Christ died for our sins. And so the, to me, on a micro level, it's understanding. Yep, and just like that, we lost him. Am I really disrespecting this guy by saying, you know, Jesus Christ? You know, one thing the Bible says is, you know, you, def you deny me in front of me. John 9, and here are the disciples seeing a man on the side of the road blind, and they ask Jesus, why is this man blind? Who sinned? Was it him or his parents? And to paraphrase, Jesus basically says, you're asking the wrong question. It's not why. It's how my Father will be glorified through it. The evangelical is, is the most outspoken. It's the most, to, to quote Mike Silver, in, in his view, the most over the top, which is the very definition of being an evangelical Christian. Right. And I have absolutely, as a Christian myself, no problem with that.